Okay, to design the, the column with the software, first of all, you have to go to the column map. Basically, you click on view and you click column map. The column map basically shows you all the column in the building. And then you'll be able to do some comparison. For instance, it shows you the start point of the column, the top level and the bottom level. Now, of course, if they vary, so it will always table all this information for you. So you can be able to compare the columns. And then you it also helps you to organize the column, you know, in all the floors. For instance, if I select for this column one, if I go back to modeling and click on column properties, you can see my column one. You can see it's telling me that my column one is made up of column level one and column level two. And then I can see the top level for column level two, which coincides, of course, with the top level of the first floor. And that shows that the bottom level, of course, is touching the ground, that is at the ground floor. And then I have my column level one, which is on top of it, you know. So the column map kind of organizes the column in their vertical axis in the way they are. It just couple them together vertically that way and represent each, you know, as a dot as a rectangle in the, the column map. So when, when you see a particular column, this is my column one. Again, of course, you can see the, the azure load at the last level of that column is also shown. And then you have the, that is the end, you have the moment, you have the top level and they have the bottom level. And then looking at this, we can easily compare column we can look at column serial number one and serial number two. You can see they have basically the same Azure load 147.11. And then the moment is the same, the top level. So basically, if I design column type one, of course, it can go for four, it can go for nine, it can go for 12. This is one good advantage of the column map. You know, it gives you that opportunity to be able to compare columns to know what happens in the column, to know whether the column can be actually of the same type and save you the time of going to design a column and at the end of the day, you discover that they are almost the same type. So the column map basically helps you to organize the column in a very wonderful way. Okay, so to, for me to design column one, of course, as I said before, you just go to modeling and you click on column properties. Then the column property window comes up. And then I can be able to select, start from the top to design, okay? And then all I need, the software I've already calculated, the D over H, which is 0 0.88. We have M over B H square FCU, which is 0 0.0246. We have N over B H FCU, which is 0 0.0252. All I need to do is to go to the column chart, which I have here. And then you can be able to get the p1 fy over fcu value okay All i need to do is take the value of m over h which is this way take the value of n over bh fcu which is this way and then find where they meet and follow the curve in this case they're quite very small this is um almost less than 0 0.5 in both way this is um the other one um the n over N over BHFCU is almost somewhere here, so I can trace this and then the other one joins almost like a zero, so that I can use a minimum of 0 0.5. Okay, and once I enter that, sorry, 0 0.05. Once I enter that, of course, the software I'm using um, P1FY over FCU of 0 0.05, a minimum. Once I enter the automatically, the software calculates the the AS provided based on the diameter of bar. If I change this, of course, it's give me a new AS provided. And of course, I have my AS required. Okay. And then, um, of course, um, phone number for a rectangular column is a minimum. Then I have my link diameter, of course, Y8 at 2, which can also change. So that is, that is the way it designs column. Oh, it's very interactive. All I need to do is just change the value, I mean, get the value of uh, P1, FY over FCU all the way from the charts. Enter it, and the software will calculate the area for you right away. And then for the second level, that is the ground floor column in this case, you can see um, 
my n over bhfc of course we have various charts for for various level of um d over h but i'm working with um 0 0.8 of course i have 0 0.85 but for now we're working with 0 0.8 then my m over bh fc we see very low somewhere around here then you can see the, the the parameter i have the p1 fy over fc is still very low i can still maintain a minimum of 0 0.5 0 0.05 okay and then um i can the paints i can use the y2f for y2f basically does it then i can move on to look for another column that have a, a different parameter like um i can see serial number two, column serial number two that is column two you can see it's, it has almost the same thing with three it has the same thing with 10 it has the same parameters with 11. i can also take it to be the same as five and then the same as eight but before I do that, if I want to match the properties of the one that belongs to the group of one, I can close this, go to modify, click on match column properties, click on column one, touch column two, touch column four, touch nine, touch series two F. As you can see, the software turned them to CT1, CT1, changing the column type. And of course, the column type, you can also control from the column type ID. If whatever you are used to calling your column type. So I've got that is what we're going to show on the GA in all the floor GAs, you know, as wherever that column appears. Is going to call it column type one and it's quite a very other good utility so you don't actually waste your time trying to type the column in all the floors okay the software does all those coordinations for you so that when you bring out your your bin ga the, the 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 floor ga automatically the columns are there and then again i can design my column to just go back to modeling bring up my column properties again go to column two select the first level can see I have another very small value. I can use 0 0.05. Change this to Y2F. And then here we have 0 0.19, which is basically almost 0 0.2 somewhere here. And the other one is um still very low, still less almost um still less than one, still less than 0 0.1. So I can still use 0 0.05. Oh, I can use 0 0.1. The pane on the designer so that I can make this for Y16. Okay. That's it. Then the next column of interest to me will be the center column, that is column 6. Okay, you can see this is also very low, this is 0 0.05. Yeah, this is high now, 0 0.3. Let's check the table, 0 0.3 is almost somewhere here, but still not too bad, Use 0 0.1. Okay, I have 4y16 and uh, 4y12. As you can see from our analysis, column 6 and column 2, they almost produce the same result. So, I can match properties using column type 2 so that all of them will be under the same column type. From column 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10 and 11 they all we fall under the same column type i just go to modify click on match column properties select the one i want to match with just touch the rest of the column this this they all fall within the same 
column type. So as you can see in the type I have bit carry two column type, column type one and column type two. Now I can now detail the column. Let's go back to detailing. Click on column details. Column details. You can see, you can see all my column types are listed. Just select column one and column two, which is the best guide to column type I have. I don't need to select all. Click OK. So it details the column. That is how sweet it can get. I have my column detailed without any trouble. You can see the details are all there. Okay. And I remove the grid line to see it very well. That's all you need to do. You don't do much. You just take care of the design. And at the same time, the analysis, the design, and of course the detailing. You know, without you doing much. As I said earlier, you can also personalize the page. I can call this my column details. Okay. So that's it. That's all about designing the column. You know, the software not only designs the column for you, it details it, and at the same time, it coordinates the column. That is very, very important to us. We want to make sure that the columns in the entire building are all well coordinated, are all well numbered, so that there will be no confusion anywhere the drawing appear. Let me also show you something. You know, if we go back to the floor view, and then if you select the first floor, and I want to see the beam general arrangement for the first floor, I can just click on the detailing and then click floor general arrangement. This is my GA. As you can see, the the column are all well numbered. You can see column type one, column type one. Okay, let me call this my first floor beam GA. Now, if I go back again and go to my roof, the roof level. And then go to detailing and then say detail roof beam arrangement. This is my roof beam arrangement. As you can see, the column type are all maintained. So wherever the column appears in the floor, they are all numbered and all well organized. That's one good thing with the software. It, it, it just takes care of the column, make sure they are all well numbered, all well arranged, and all well organized. It give you that medium to be, uh, that opportunity to be able to compare the columns and then know the columns that are likely to be of the same type and to avoid you the waste the time of wasting so much time designing so many columns okay so let me call this my roof beam ga okay so that's it and of course you now the floors you can always navigate between floors okay